Hey guys, welcome to Oyster Master. Our goal is to teach you educational and useful information that you can use in school or in real life through the use of video games. Today, we will be talking about the evolution of weapons. Let's get started. The earliest evidence of wooden spears and tools dates all the way back to 400,000 BC. Although their original use was for hunting animals, they were also great for killing other people. The introduction of stone weapons made wooden ones obsolete. This is mirrored in Minecraft, where stone weapons and tools generally deal more damage and have more durability than their wooden counterparts. People started to use bows and arrows at around 20,000 BC. This extended the range in which humans could kill each other, enabling early humans to follow social distancing guidelines and stab their enemy from at least 6 feet away. The introduction of horses to warfare in 5300 BC allowed fighters to have better mobility on a battlefield. This means that they can quickly maneuver to pursue or flee their enemy. Basically, they could run away from their enemy almost as fast as they run away from my problems. Metals such as iron were harder, more durable, and sharper than stone weapons. Overall, they made for a better tool for killing. Thus, metal weapons became the dominant choice of combat for millennia. Firearms and gunpowder were introduced at around 880. They were deadlier than bows and had a longer range. By building even bigger and more powerful firearms, humans created the cannon. Cannons were able to decimate buildings and castles, which effectively ended the medieval age, as they were able to tear down castle walls. For centuries, cannons were a terrifying weapon that decimated infantry units and revolutionized combat. They also made navies relevant and a much more powerful force in general. The next great step comes in the form of the Gatling gun, which was created in hopes of minimizing casualties and wars, but unfortunately, the exact opposite happened. A lot more people died than was really necessary because generals at the time were absolutely stupid and had no idea how to adapt to new technologies. But I tell you what, the zombies hiding in the back certainly did. Anyways guys, here's a quick life lesson. Sometimes the cowards are the survivors, and the survivors are the winners. So the next great evolutionary step in warfare was the invention of the aircraft. And, oh, and by the way, the great tower in the middle is an anti-aircraft gun tower. So basically, airplanes could zip by enemy forces at extremely high speeds and make them extremely hard to shoot down. And as you can see in this case, the anti-aircraft tower is having a very hard time landing even a single shot on me. But as you will see in a second, when he does land the shot on me, it deals quite a lot of damage because airplanes are quite lightly armored compared to other ground vehicles. But aircraft can also be heavily armored, and as you can see, I'm shooting quite a lot of machine gun fire at the tower. Just pretend the crossbow is a machine gun, okay? But anyways, Airplanes are a very formidable weapon, and their introduction alone pretty much made battleships obsolete. This was made abundantly clear when the American Air Force was able to sink the Imperial Japanese Navy Yamato battleship, which was one of the largest ever built. Even today, airplanes still play a huge role in our lives, transporting large amounts of supplies over vast distances. Our world would simply not be as we know it today without airplanes. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, then you might want to check out our others as well. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you next time.